Hey everyone! This video covers how to sync customer information from a Google Sheet with an offline event set on Facebook Business Manager. You will learn how easy it is to automatically sync data gathered during an offline event, like a visit to an open house advertised on Facebook, with your Facebook Business Manager. You can set this up once and forget it. Not worry about uploading data every time a new offline event takes place. Moreover, doing so is vital to understanding the performance of your Facebook ads, improving targeting and achieving a higher conversion rate. In this specific use case, customer information from a Google Sheet is synced with an offline event set on Facebook Business Manager using the Facebook Offline Conversions app on Intaker Map. So let's jump in. First, let's take a quick look at the Google Sheet that we will retrieve the data from. Here we have created columns to correspond with the data we gather during the offline event, the open house visit in our example. You may change the number of columns or the order in which they appear. Once you have the Google Sheet set up, you can go ahead and build the integration, which is known as a scenario on a taker map. Let me show you. On the dashboard, click create a new scenario. That will bring you to the scenario builder. The first step is to add a trigger module for the app you want to fetch data from. While Intakermat has hundreds of apps integrated, let's focus on our current use case. Search for Sheets to find the Google Sheets app on this list. Select it, and then select the Watch Rows trigger module. Every time this scenario runs and finds a new row in the sheet, the data will be fetched and sent to the subsequent module. Okay, it's time to configure this module. Here, you need to add a connection to your Google account and grant and take about access to your account or choose an existing connection from the drop-down menu. Next, under Spreadsheet, select the Google Sheet containing your data and then select the specific sheet in the spreadsheet from the sheet list. Under Table Contains Headers, select Yes. Row with headers can be left as is, unless you want to specify a particular range here. And the limit can be set to 1. This number tells Intakermat to fetch and process just one row of data at a time. Once you're done setting up and testing this scenario, you can change this to a higher number if you wish to process larger amounts of data. If you'd like to learn more about this feature, check out our videos on bundles, operations, and text aggregator on YouTube. You can also find more advanced options by checking this box, but we will skip those to keep this tutorial short. Click OK to complete setting up this module. Next, you need to choose where to start processing from. You can select all or manually choose the row that you want to process. All right, now we need to add the module from the Facebook Offline Conversions app. To do this, click on the little circle with the little plus sign here and search for offline. Select the Facebook Offline Conversions app and then select the Send Offline Event module, which is the only available module for this app right now. Add a connection to your Facebook account by clicking the Add button here or choose an existing one from the menu. You will need to grant Integromat access to your account in order to proceed. Now, select the Facebook Business Manager account that you'd like to use from the drop-down list. Here, select the data set within your Events Manager where you would like to transfer the data to. To complete this module setup, click the Add Item option here in the Data field. Next. Choose an event from the drop-down menu. In this particular example, we have selected Leave. Since you want to transfer the data from the Google Sheet to the offline event set, simply map the elements from the Google Sheets module into the fields Event Time in the Event Time field, Value in the Value field, and so on. Once all the relevant fields have been mapped, click Add Data. All right, if you click on this icon, it will open up the schedule setting. You can choose exactly how often you would like this scenario to be executed. By default, it is set to execute every 15 minutes. Now, save your scenario by clicking the Save button here. Great, the scenario is configured and good to go, but we still need to do a quick test. Ensure that you've added at least one row of data to the sheet. To execute the scenario, click the Run Once button. And voila! The scenario is executed successfully. You can click the numbered circles to view the output of each module. 
This number signifies the number of operations consumed by each module in a single execution. Here you can see that the Google Sheets module outputted one bundle of data corresponding to the row of data on the sheet. Now, let's take a look at the output of the offline event module. Here you can see that the bundle of data passed through the Google Sheets module to this module as an input and was uploaded to the offline event set. If you take a look at the offline event set in the events manager, you will see that the data from the Google Sheet was automatically transferred to this set as intended. Since this test was successful, the final step is to turn on the scenario by toggling the switch here. Now that the process is fully automated, it will allow you extra time to focus on more important aspects of running successful campaigns on Facebook. That concludes this video lesson. Hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching and happy automating.